Well, I don't have a lot of room on my table because I have picked vegetables today. For people who use these uh, spray feeders, uh, miracle Grow makes them, other company makes them. Uh, most of them have sleeves, and you can take one sleeve out of the box or just buy a smaller box, but if it's cheaper to buy the bigger boxes with several sleeves in it. Put the whole sleeves in here real easy and slowly fill this thing up with water. Where the hassle comes to is putting it on a hose. Because you've got this, you've got to screw that on, and then you might have to screw it on your hose, and it gets to be a pain in the butt. If you, on a hose that you use all the time, we use these shutoff valves. Now one that I'm just going to spray water out of, I don't need a shutoff valve on it. But instead of having to bend the hose to change the end of this, I can cut it off. A gardenia made this thing uh, several years ago. They may still make it or somebody else makes it, but it's a pop-on, snap-on, waterproof, will not drip fitting. And all you have to do is, let me switch camera hands, is that pops off. Now it's a lot easier to do, well, a lot easier to do with a tripod. And what you do is you, you cut your hose off. And you screw this on your hose. You, the other end that you buy goes into the receiver where you would screw this onto the hose. And so you fill that up with solution. You've got it topped off with water. You put this cap on it. You carry it over to this. I have a tendency to not look at my screen to make sure I've got this filmed. And you carry your full bottle of uh, fertilizer over to your hose and you pop it on. And then you can have this off. Not all of them have a shutoff valve on it, but you can have this off. And then you can turn this valve on and then you, this valve on. Then you turn that valve on when you're spraying. You can cut either valve off when you want to move to another location. And when you're finished, you just pop this back off, pull it out, and you can store your bottle. They say not to leave it in there a long time. Uh, if I'm doing flowers and I'm not going to do them all at the same day, I just leave it in there. Now, I wouldn't leave it in there for several weeks, but uh, one of these sleeves of fertilizer will do a very large area. And it's really great for uh, watering plants part of the way through the season where they might be running short on a little bit of the nutrients in the ground. But if you can buy these little pop-off sleeves, all this stuff is a lot easier to do when you don't have a camera. And just can picture that your bottle's, your bottle's hanging on that. No spills, no get fertilizer water all over your hands or anything. Now this valve is leaking ever so slightly, which made it, my hands damp and uh, didn't want to fool with my camera because usually cameras and water don't mix. And after I finish spraying, I leave this on the sprayer. That's way the next time I want to spray something, I don't have to figure out where I left that. If I can find the sprayer, I can find this. It really does work. 